Welcome back to the carport, y'all. Y'all want to talk about it? Freaking birds. One second. What do you think about it? So I reached out to Scorpion, you know, shot my shot, but they was like, I have a boyfriend. Take a big step back and literally. So I was like, and very shut up and take my money. Scorpion Cobart FX. We all think about it. I think it looks pretty snazzy. You want to hear about it? Cool. I'm going to tell you about it anyway. So I chose the cement gray gloss, you know, cause I like, I like, I like silver, but they didn't have silver. They had, they had this, which I think is pretty dope too. It's a little darker than I was hoping for, but it comes with two shields. Comes with the dark and the clear in a bag for like 250 bucks. Tried it on at uh, Cycle Gear, but they didn't, they couldn't get the color that I wanted. They were sold out of these. So I had to go to Amazon. No big deal. Uh, Prime Day, you know, RIP Optimus Prime. Thank you for your sacrifice. You died for us, bro. Pretty lightweight. You want the specs, you know, you can look them up. They're, you know how. So far, pretty comfortable. Doesn't squeeze your crap out of my cheeks. Got it in a large. I was hoping for the medium, but not working out. Uh, same shell size, the medium and the large. So don't freak out too bad if you buy the large and it's too too big or you buy the medium and it's too small. You can buy new cheek pads, same shell, just change the cheek pads out and you can close it up or expand it a little bit. Now, if you put the large on and it's too small, then you know you have to send it back or exchange it or whatever. I, I don't know. This one fits me. Vents in the front, it's got a little, got a little switch on the inside, which I'm not real super sure about. That's going to take some getting used to while you're wearing it, uh, especially with gloves on. But if you open it up, the vents go straight into your face. But if you close it off, then all the air gets redirected through these vents here into the front of the face shield. So the vents up top, if the face shield is open, help the vent out the back. Also, closable vent on the top. I wish it was labeled which one was open and which one was closed because you can't really tell. Oh no, I'm lying. It slide to the right. Slide to the right. And and they're open. And they slide to the left and they're and they're closed. You know, cha cha right now. Cha cha real smooth. Standard D rings. Oh the liner, the Quick Wick 3 comfort liner. And I I don't know if it's any more comfortable than Quick Wick 2. Uh, or if that's even a thing. Maybe they just call it the Quick Wick 3 so it sounds like they've been making changes. I don't know. I do know I bought my first Scorpion helmet, which I, I don't have any longer. Uh, in 06. Uh, it was uh, XO420, 404, four something. Anyway, had it in 06, just threw it away last year, year before last. It was my backup from backup. You never know. I mean, they say helmets expire, but an expired helmet's probably better than no helmet. And even in Arkansas, where you don't have to ride with a helmet, I, you know, trying to protect all of this. Face shields, I call them Everclear face shields. It's supposed to be state of the art, anti fog, anti scratch, UVA, UVB protectant. You get a clear shield. And a smoke shield in the box, same price, and a face shield bag for the same price. Paid for with the initial cost of the helmet. Now, other helmets, you want an extra shield, you gotta purchase it. You want the you want the face shield bag, you gotta purchase that too. Different business models. 
different size companies, I get it. Now to take a spot on the face shield, you're looking at a little over an eighth of an inch thick. Now it's not the whole thing's not an eighth inch thick. It's got some contours and some dips and some dives and gets a little thicker in some places, a little thinner in some places. But right there on the border, you're looking at about an eighth inch thick all the way around the outside. And you can buy a pin lock face shield Separate purchase required. And on the old helmet, which is about the same thickness from one side to the other, about 3.30 seconds. One on one side of the eighth mark and one on the other side of the eighth mark. Not a big difference. Not a big difference in size. However, it does feel a little more substantial with the different thicknesses of the plastic. Gives it more of a structure, like a bead roll floor pan. You know, flat metal, kind of flimsy. You bead roll the edges and gets real nice and strong. Battery died, had to reset. Anywho, cardo slips right in. It takes a little work. Now it doesn't just fall in there, which is cool because it means it ain't gonna fall out. But I don't like using the sticky base. I just like using the little clamp base. You know, you get, you gotta get in the, anywho. For face shield removal, Line up these two little arrows right here. And then it just pops right off. Now it does feel like you're gonna break the shit out of it. But calm yourself, line the arrows up, pull straight out, pops right off, pop the new one back on. <clears throat> See, nothing to it. Pops right back in. I mean, it's no trouble at all. It does have, have a nice little neoprene chin skirt it doesn't intrude too far back into your gullet and the uh chin strap standard issue stuff haven't got broke in yet rides a little far back on my throat right now but once it breaks in and gets softened up i think it's going to be just fine it's, it's distracting but not irritating it does have pockets for your comm speakers they're 50 50 no fuck is 55 so it's like two inches, just shy of two inches. All we gotta do now is uh, get her wired up, and get some test rides, see how she does. Halfway there with the cardo mount already, all I gotta do is stick a little sticky. Now see, that's something I don't understand here. Uh, they don't really give you a good flat area if you wanna use the stickies, right? So you get your sticky ones instead of the, instead of the clip tight. Doesn't, there's not a real good spot for it. Maybe it was uh, designed with another brand in mind. So what do y'all think about the new setup? I know, I know it's, it's been two weeks. I know that. All right, kids get out of school, they got stuff to do. We're working a lot. Hopefully that's not just shaking the hell out of the camera. It is, it is, damn it. Don't touch the desk, Soresby. I got trying not to make folks motion sick. I'm sorry. Y'all be safe out there. Take care of one another. Just want nobody else.